Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Call of Duty Mega Box, uh, set number 06823 uh, Alpine Rangers. Uh, the set includes five figures and 138 pieces. Here's the front of the box. Um, as you can see, there's some weather art and uh, some green trees in the background. Here's the back of the packaging. Uh, all the accessories are listed, as well as some pictures taken with the set um, by Mega Box. Here's our first figure, and uh, he's in the Arctic Camel, and I really like the way this turned out. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in on that, and as you can see, it looks very nice. I like the black and brown pecs on it, or specs on it, it looks very cool, and I think it uh, turned out very great. Um, so, let's give you guys a 360 look at this. Um, as you can see, he's all domed out in Arctic. He's kind of the most plain out of all the troopers. Um, but like I said, you can customize them. Like I said in my other reviews, you can customize them however you want. Um, so yeah, he's got kind of like a microphone on the side of his helmet, uh, a flashbang right there, and he comes with this basic rifle. And um, right here he has a silver knife. Uh, the pig is actually kind of attached to his leg. The knife kind of hangs and kind of makes him a little wobbly when he stands, and that's with only this guy, so... Um, yeah. And this is the next figure we have here. He's got the night vision goggles. This is a mold they're using a little too much. Um, but, you know, it's a cool mold. I think it's in all the three battle packs. As you can see, he's got two arctic back backpacks on him. A uh, tan vest, tan leg holder uh, with a arctic or white knife on it. A very decked out rifle or just machine gun in general with a scope on it. Um... Pretty cool fig, um, although the head looks very weird on this arctic body. Uh, it doesn't look so good, um, but you can customize them uh, however you want. And again, here's a mold that they're using way too much. Um, it's the gas mask guy. Now, again, he's a cool fig, but he's almost in every single Call of Duty set. I mean, I'm not even kidding. He's in, um, I think he's in the Heavy Armor Outpost. I know he's in the Dome set. He's in the other two battle packs. He might not be in the SEAL one. He's not in the SEAL team, never mind. Um, but he's pretty much overused, uh, the one main Call of Duty fig that's overused. But I'm not going to complain, uh, just because these figures are so cool, I mean, what is there to complain about? Um, anyways, so as you can see, he's got a green vest on, a pretty cool rifle with, an ass with a silencer on it, um, another white knife on him, a white backpack, and uh, yeah, and he's got some, I guess, gray slash green boots, um, so uh, yeah. Alright, here's our second to last figure. Uh, he's pretty cool also. Uh, he has the same exact helmet mold as this guy right here. Uh, except it's an arctic, which I like a lot better. Um, he's got some arctic legs, a pure arctic gun, which I really like the look of, an arctic vest, um, some gr a green torso, a tan grenade, which doesn't make sense at all. Uh, you know, when you're in, I guess, snow and throwing a tan grenade, you know, that doesn't really make sense. But who cares? Not going to complain. Very cool uh, figure in general. Next, we got this guy, which is my personal favorite fig in this set. Um, it's because he demonstrates the Arctic Trooper the most out of these sets. Uh, maybe the last guy did too, but uh, I just like this guy more. Um, so as you can see, he's got a tan vest, a green backpack on the side of him, a uh, big green backpack on the back of him, a Arctic and gray rifle, a black knife on the side of him, and that very awesome head mold that isn't used very much and is very cool. So that concludes the figures, and I'm going to show you a little custom figure that you can make with all five of these figures. Alright, so here's the cool little Arctic Trooper I actually managed to make out of the five figs. And this is <clears throat> uh, using all of the figs uh, combined. So, uh, let's go ahead and show you him. Um, let's actually zoom in. Um, as you can see, he's got a white backpack there, tan hands, a green uh, grenade, white rifle, white knife, um, white backpack, and uh, a very big white backpack on the back, white vest, and uh, it is using that white and gray head. I thought this guy's a little cool to make. Um, I'm not going to keep him like this. I might eventually do the custom again, but... He just looks cool, and uh, especially what I really like about this set is, or just about this Call of Duty theme, is that you can customize your characters so good. So, uh, let's talk about the ratings, and actually, you know what? No, let's look at the set. Oh, my bad. Alright, so here's the actual set. It's very basic. Uh, you get three different base plates to connect, and um, 
You can stand figures all along it. Uh, it's not very good. I uh, don't like it. Um, but, you know, who cares? Uh, the only reason to buy the set is for the troopers. Really nothing to go over in this thing. Um, they just come with the care package, so let's take a look at that. Alright, so on to the accessories in the care package. Something weird about this, um, well, it comes with a gray care package, as you can see right there, it's just made up of four different pieces. And right there, they're all green and gray accessories. This is a Arctic set. Why are they all green and gray? Hmm, who knows. Anyways, um, but you get Claymore there, an extra ammo clip there, shovel, walkie talkie, medic kit, which is two different pieces, binoculars, another ammo clip, flashlight, uh, water drinking can, backpack for the side, and an extra gun, uh, back of a gun thing. So, uh, that's it for the set, and let's go ahead and talk about the ratings. Alright, uh, so my thoughts. Um, I like it a lot. It's a good set. So, when I first saw the pictures of the set, I didn't really like it, mainly just because of the box art. Um, but when you really have it in hand, you really do enjoy it. Uh, just, I did a lot. Uh, building the figures, yeah, it's a little pain, but you get used to it once you uh, repetitively do it. Um, but the one cool thing about this set um, is the fact that you actually get Arctic Troopers. Now, um, seeing military figures in uh, brick form is, or just in minifigure scale is very cool, and I think that's awesome. Now, Megabucks did do a line a while ago that was related to military, but wasn't very good, did not do successful at all. Uh, this one, however, the Call of Duty one, is doing very good. And what I especially love about it is you get military Arctic figures in minifigure form, and that, that's just very cool. Um, especially to me, because Arctic troopers are basically just my favorite kind of troops. In Star Wars, I really like the Battle of Hoth, um, so that kind of contributes to it. Um, I just really like the Arctic troopers in uh, army uh, form, basically. So, this is why I really do enjoy this set. I almost like it better than their two battle packs, but I don't want to say I do. But... For people like me who love Arctic Troopers, um, this is definitely a set for you, and I highly recommend it. Uh, you got to get it. It's only fifteen bucks, fourteen ninety nine, uh, five figures and a care package and a little structure, so it, it's a good deal. Um, I do not have the Mountain Recon set yet, and that's another Arctic set which I will definitely be getting. Um, and I just want to kind of you know have a little Arctic section in my collection. But um, overall, I just really like this set. I really like getting Arctic Troopers in uh, minifigure form. So uh, that's it for this review. I got. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment on which is your favorite figure in this set, even though you can't really describe. Just kind of describe the figure. I don't know. Um, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review, and um, thanks for watching.